Downey says he's going to retire at the end of his term in May of 2023. He has served on the city council since 2022. He was Chicago's first openly gay alderman, worked on a number of big projects in his Lakeview ward, including preserving history during the renovations at Wrigley Field, supporting LGBTQ rights, and ensuring the completion of the city's AIDS garden, which we saw unveiled just recently. Now, Tony released a statement saying, I have always strived to do my best for the residents and businesses in the Lakeview community and have have been honored by the remarkable opportunity to serve the residents of the 44th Ward for almost 20 years. I will continue to work tirelessly for the Ward through my last day on the City Council. As I look ahead, I see so many great ways in which I can continue to give back to the city I love. Alderman Tunney is one of several aldermen not running for re-election, and he has said that he has considered possibly a run for mayor. Let's bring in our political editor Mike Flannery to talk more about this. Campaign season is kicking off and this is such a huge shakeup at City Hall. Well, so this is the first day, Sally, for collecting uh, signatures on uh, nominating petitions that uh, you have to file by late November with the Chicago Board of Election Commissioners. And uh, if we include three aldermen who've already uh, said they're, they're leaving the council early, uh, and that includes Patrick Daly Thompson on his way to federal prison, uh, former Alderman Michael Scott now on the Board of Ed, and then uh, Michelle Smith from Lincoln Park, uh, who uh, says she's leaving early. Uh, we've got a dozen. It's really uh, a, a, an unprecedented turnover. There you see uh, Tunney on the left. You see Michelle Smith uh, top right. You see James Kappelman from Uptown uh, uh, on, on the uh, uh, on the right upper, then Osterman down below, uh, Sophia King, uh, and we, uh, I'm sorry, Leslie Hairston, and, um, and then Carrie Austin, all of whom uh, are departing the council. Carrie Austin, of course, is under federal indictment currently. Um, their departures uh, do not include uh, those who face uh, trouble uh, getting re-election uh, next year. Among them, uh, Alderman Ed Burke, who, like Carrie Austin, is also uh, under uh, under uh, federal indictment and uh, faces trial next year. Uh, the uh, bottom line here is that uh, 2023 could be uh, the, the new city uh, council uh, that uh, gets sworn in next May uh, could have the largest number of new faces that we have seen. Now, Daniel Laspata from the First Ward uh, was out uh, collecting uh, petition signatures uh, outside uh, the Blue Line Station there in Logan Square. Um, he's, uh, his uh, first ward uh, is uh, one that uh, uh, also includes, he, he's facing some challengers, including the son of Mike Royko, the late uh, columnist for the uh, Daily News, the Sun-Times and the Tribune. Uh, Sam Royko has announced that he's running against him. Uh, Alderman Ray Lopez on the left, uh, Sophia King there in the center, and uh, Alderman Roderick Sawyer on the right. All of them say they're going to run for mayor. Uh, it's a, a, a symptom of the uh, upheaval uh, and the uh, tough, uh, the tough contest uh, that uh, the, the tough political environment that Mayor Lightfoot faces. That uh, so many challengers are uh, lining up to take her on, Sally. And you mentioned that Tunney, he's not doing interviews today, I know, but he has said in the past maybe a run for mayor. When should we know that? Well, uh, today's the first day for collecting uh, mm -hmm. signatures on nominating petitions. Uh, there's obviously a lot of time. It's not until the end of November. I believe the Monday after Thanksgiving is when uh, your nominating petitions mm -hmm. are due into the Chicago Board of Election Commissioners. Uh, you see Tunney uh, there talking. He, of course, was a famous restaurateur, ran Ann Sather's, and um, uh, was a, a, a major figure there in uh, the Lakeview community and Wrigley uh, back, uh, you know, the boundaries yeah. have changed over the years. Mm -hmm. Pushing um, back against the Ricketts family there a lot, too, while running that area around Wrigley. Uh, my one question, with so many people leaving right now the city council, is there a common thread that runs through them all? Yeah, um, they, they recognize a lot of voters are upset. Uh, 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 some of these folks, especially the ones running for mayor, uh, denounce what they call the chaos dysfunction and incompetence of Lori Lightfoot's administration. Uh, that's, a, that's an allegation they're going to be pushing out on the campaign trail, those who are going to be running. Um, the, the, uh, the, the fact, too, is uh, a number of these are older. These, uh, these sure. members of the council are older. Uh, they're entitled to a fat pension. 
Uh, those who are still in good health can become lobbyists, can go do something else. Um, I think they've decided, what the heck, it's not worth it. Uh, All you, right. But, you know, you take a look at uh, uh, Mayor Lightfoot's job approval rating stuck somewhere in the mid-20s to 30 percent. Um, some of these aldermen, I think, have probably sampled and they realize they may face the same problem.